created a new .NET MAUI project called MAUI Landscape Demo. And right now it's just the boilerplate for the starting projects for a familiar hello world with the little counter button. And I've got that running on an iPhone 14 simulator. We can go to the device menu for the simulator and choose to rotate the, sim the simulator or change its orientation. So I'm going to change it to landscape right. And since it's got a scroll view, I can scroll through. But the problem is it doesn't show the whole project. And it's not designed for landscape orientation. So the question I want to tackle in this video is how do I design for landscape view exclusively and force that rotation? both on Android and iOS. Well, to accomplish that, I need to go into the Platforms folder and s for both Android and iOS. We'll start with the Android. I'm going to open that up. There's a file here called mainactivity.cs. I'm going to open that up. And we have here our constructor of public class main activity, which is inheriting a Maui app compat activity. And inside of that, I want to override the onCreate method. So I'm going to add in protected override void onCreate bundle saved instance state. Now, I want to call the base onCreate method. And then I'm going to add to that the requested orientation equals screen orientation dot landscape. I'm going to close that file and save it. Now on the iOS side, I'm going to go into the info.plist. And there I'll find a supported interface orientations. I can expand that. And right now it supports the upright portrait, landscape left and landscape right. I want to get rid of that portrait one. I'm just going to select it. And there's a little red X. It's kind of faint when it's highlighted. I'm just going to click that, and that gets rid of it. Now there's also the supported interface orientations for iPad. And there I want to get rid of both the portrait with the button at the bottom and the portrait with the button at the top. That will support the iPad being in landscape as well as the iPhone. Let me show you what this looks like on the Windows Visual Studio side. It's just a little bit different. It's a little more visual and you can just check and uncheck the boxes you want as far as landscape and portrait. So I'm going to close that and save it. And now I'm going to design this a little bit differently for the landscape view that I'm using. I'm going to insert in the vertical stack layout a horizontal stack layout. In that horizontal stack layout, I'm going to start with my image over on the left-hand side. So I'll copy and paste that. And then the other, other items I'm going to put into another vertical stack layout. And so that's going to include our hello world, our welcome label, and the button. So I'll cut that, paste that in here. I'm going to change this label from hello world to, let's make it hello landscape. I'm going to clean this up a little bit. So I'm going to show you how you can do some indentation. I'm going to select the attributes for the image and just tab key that over. And then I got my vertical stack layout, even with the image. The label's indented that, but I want these other ones to also be indented, so I'll select that and just tab. And that looks a little more readable now. I'll get rid of some of these blank lines. So we have our horizontal stack layout with the image on the left, and then a vertical stack layout with all the other information inside that horizontal stack layout. I'm going to run this again on my emulator. Before I do that, I'm going to set up my emulator so that it is in the portrait position to start with. And let's see what happens when we run this with a forced landscape orientation. And so it puts it in landscape view, even in the portrait orientation. But if I rotate to the left, I want to adjust some spacing on this to make it look a little bit better. So let's come back into our XAML code. Let's set the vertical stack layout and add spacing equals, let's say, 30. And then also want to set some margins here to force this a little further to the right. Let's set a margin of 20 all the way around. And then for my image here, I'm also going to set a margin of 20 all the way around. And that's going to bring it over from the left margin 
a little bit. Also bring it down a little bit. Let's just try that. So I'm just gonna play with these numbers. And that looks much better. And you can see the click me button still works. I'm gonna stop the emulator. Let's go to a Samsung simulator. So here's the Samsung S9. And there is my application running in landscape mode. If I rotate this, we can see that it remains in landscape mode. If you want to restrict this for portrait, basically do the same thing, just get rid of the landscape modes in the info P list, retain the portrait ones. And then on the main activity CS for Android, you can change this to screen orientation dot portrait. We can also programmatically determine whether the device is in portrait or landscape mode and adjust our layouts programmatically for the different orientation views. So look at that down the road. If you just jumped into this video, you can see all the videos from the .NET My Practicum playlist by clicking on the image in the lower right. And if you'd like to be alerted to future videos I create, you can click my picture in the top right to subscribe to the channel.